Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hardest start in E4. Byzantium is not as hard as this. Albania is not as hard as this. Granada is, in my opinion, one of, if not the hardest start in E4. And so today we're going to play it because I enjoy putting myself through pain. I've done several guides on this in the past, so I might nip back and watch them because that's what you do when you made guides back in the day. Hello there, guys, and welcome to this How to Win as Granada. Now, this is a hellish start. <laughs> Now, I'm going to wing this, and I'm not going to restart. So what that means is I might be going after Tlemcen. But either way, this is our starting game. The game might crash. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, this is it. I wish we had a slightly better <laughs> ruler when I said that. All right, let's get this going. And just hope to God that the Moroccans do not ally Tlemcen. Oh, that's good. They've allied Tunis, which means there's no way Tlemcen's getting out of this. Okay, we're going to attack Tlemcen then. This is the plan. All right, we're about to get the mission from Morocco. Moroccan ties, which gives us morale of armies plus 5% for the next 20 years. Now, we're going to do this now. Okay, so it's a bit early, but we get an extra 5%. That's nice. Here we get prepare for war. So if we insult Castile, we get ourselves uh, loads of claims and a general 60 tradition. However, what it doesn't tell you is that if you scornfully insult them, then you get a general with 100 tradition. Let's hope he's good. Uh, he's a 4-3. It's okay. He kind of wanted better than that. All right, they are allied to Gurt and Fazan. So we're going to declare the war and call in the Tunisians. And this should be fine. The only concern is that the Moroccans come in. Okay, I've got a choice. Either I call in the Tunisians and risk Tunisia losing, or I just blitz them and call in the Moroccans, but I won't be able to take that much stuff. Because I want these two to get stronger anyway, because I need them to fight the Castilians for me. Yeah, screw it. All right, we're going to blitz them. Do not want to fight him. Come on, get out of there quicker, please. Get out of there quicker. There we go. Good boy. And during this time, we are going to get the Granada in succession, which is a good thing. Now, I just want to give Figig to Mar... Well, that's not good. These types of crashes, they're so, they're so often with Granada. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a filthy save scummer. I'll do it all day. When it comes to this, I'll do it all goddamn day. I won't, I don't have the patience for it. Usually I just take the loss on the chin, but as Granada in the early game, losing 3,000 troops. <gasps> Great, these kinds of events early, not fun. All right, get involved in that battle. Get involved in that battle. Now, the key part is here, this is fine. <laughs> We want him to win, because if we accept it, the decision, then we get a terrible, terrible uh, air and such. But if we don't, we're fine. If I recall correctly, I could have forgotten how to play this game. Pretender rebels will likely rise up. This is good for you. Just need to gather up as much war score as possible, because currently we have 9%. Excellent. <laughs> Just keep on getting horrible events. I haven't had a single good event yet. Key part is, never accept this. <laughs> don't accept the end to this. Because look. If we let him win, a 3-4-4 four, four is going to come in, in charge. It's better than everything we have here. It's kind of important. Dude, just constant bad events. All right, I'm going to hand this off to Tunis. i give you these territories. You like me. Okay, this is good. Everyone still likes me. We're all happy with Lathe. Good. What if I took this one? And Morocco doesn't care. So I could just sort of just do that. Honestly, that's a pretty good deal. I'm happy with that. That was a lot happier of a situation than I thought it'd be. All right, now we just need to lose this. Oh my god, play. Dude, this is a cursed game so far. Okay, he's got the capital. Just do it. Okay, he's 20 months away. We are taking out loans. It's fine. That's what they're there for. There's the truce of Portugal, which means they might declare war on me and bring in the Portuguese. In a way, as of EU4, I've never had a Granada game not play out in this way. I've never once been able to ally a European power and get help or anything else. Never once been able to ally the Ottomans in time. It's not too bad. It's always just been the North Africans and me versus the world. Even more, even more bad events. Come on, buddy. You've got control of the entirety of Granada. Can we just submit to you? Come on. 10 months. Now, if I was being super efficient, I'd try and call these provinces before this tick down because then I'd get some of their troops. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's so painful. I... I massively messed up there, boys. I should have uh, I should have had this fort on. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy gloating about what I would do instead of, you know, what I was doing. So that's a good job, like. Well done. Here we go. Look to the future. That was not the... That was not the era I was promised. I was promised a good ruler. Not that. You all saw it. Run back the tapes. Run back the tapes. If we let him win... 344 is going to come in charge. All right, apparently playing this on hard mode. Okay. I can't believe that. I've, I've, I've been absolutely boogalooed. I'm giving you troops. I will help you fight this, though, if you march in. There you go. There you go. 
Because otherwise, they will lose this and they won't come in to help me. So I had to do that. You're welcome, Morocco. Mm, they're lining up on the border. But fortunately, us North Africans, because <laughs> I am one now, are united. Now you might be wondering, Laith, careful. You gotta deal with those rebels. I'm just gonna let them go into Tunisian territory. That's that's my plan. Ah, Tunis seems to be playing the same strat as me. Okay, we probably need to pay our troops then. <laughs> Tunis are letting them run into, into my territory pretty soon. Right, that should be us stable for a while. Oh, God, we make three admin a month. Dude, this, this king really screwed us over, man. I swear to you, that's like that. It just is not meant to happen like that. It was a 3 3 4 or something stupid. Now, the idea here is that all of us should be able to get Miltech 4 before the Castilians. If that happens, uh, North African troops are better than Castilian ones, obviously, aside from their plus 15% to morale. We should be fine. Uh, I don't want to rival the Portuguese just because the English might still ally me. I mean, they won't, but they could. Hey, oh, 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 oh. we're safe, boys. Okay. All right. Okay. This is what happens when I don't restart. I get blessed by the gods because this one through one. I'm not going to lie. I was looking at that thinking, okay, I'm good. It, it, if I quietly delete the recording, no one will know that I restarted. But that is a huge help. Okay, that's big. Now, boys, we pray that the Iberian wedding doesn't happen. All right, I'm going to set a guy just to curry favors. Your entire job for the rest of your goddamn life is to sit there and curry favors. You suck up to that sultan. As much as possible. You do what you can. Your country's depending on you, boy. We should be safe. I've never had that. It's never panned out like this. Rahmanis is opinion to me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Mutual respect. So it kind of sucks that Tunis was able to take out Mazab, because otherwise I would just sort of snake this way and try and go for the Mamluks and just ignore the Iberian uh, Peninsula. Which, to be honest, would not make the best of uh, thumbnails. So perhaps not. Okay, we're turning a profit whilst having our, our troops up. So that's nice. Morocco being on tech three kind of sucks. <laughs> Because obviously I'm on uh, tech four, you're on tech four, you're on tech four. If I get tech five, I might be tempted to just go for it. Uh, something else I'm tempted by is, of course, reduce autonomy. You have to fight a bunch of rebels, but to be honest, it's worth it for just even one more troop. Okay, well, you didn't say you were going to rise up there. Otherwise, I'd have fought you there. Okay, you got Miltic four now. We're all on par technologically. Miltic four is kind of the big one, so that sucks. When I get Miltic five, we're going in. Otherwise, I'll just sit here forever. <laughs> so many terrible events, man. You're supporting the independence of Geneva. Nice. A worthwhile endeavor, Tunis. Truly, you're the best of us. All right, November this year, boys. Save the date. We have our advantage. It won't last forever. The Ottomans are giving us 100 ducats. Thank you very much. We're going to tell them both to prepare for war. Mainly just for roleplay reasons. <laughs> so the idea being, we should be able to take Suta fast, and they can take Malaga. Malaka. Um, and yeah, Let's see how it goes, boys. All right, we're on par technologically. I think I might miss my opportunity. We're doing it, boys. The first of the month. Uh, did not anticipate Castile allying the Austrians. It does make life kind of tricky when it comes to the Reconquista, boys. All right, realistically, I got two options here, lads. Either I sit around for a while or I restart. So let's buckle in, you bastards. We ain't restarting today. God. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Fine. Morocco would come in. Tunis wouldn't because they're like you lot. Okay, well, I could probably bring the Ottomans in against Aragon. If that helps. And it probably does. In the meantime, I do have one other plan. Also, uh, there might be a discrepancy with the dates because I did save scum to see if I could go back to a save where Castile wasn't allied to uh, Austria. Nope. I'm going to wing this and I'm not going to restart. We ain't restart today! Was not able to do that. We get the plight of our kin. That's nice. Granada just got a little bit bigger. But, but I do have a, a cunning plan. Oh, boys, it's, it's ever so cunning. Oh, okay. Do, do you need me here? We won. All right. So we're a bit of an impasse with Castile where uh, we can't fight them and they can't fight us. So we've got to be a little bit wary of uh, Austria in terms of keeping an eye on them, seeing what opportunities uh, arise. And the Ottomans are getting their ass kicked and they just got stack wiped by the Venetians. It's bad. This is the cunning plan. We declare war on Tlemcen. We get military access from the Tunisians and we go after Fazan. There's a lot of troops over here. Didn't expect quite this many. And why are they so fast? Oh, God. Tunisian conquest of Sahba. This is the issue. Okay. Split the troops. Go. You're all Tunisian Tunis, right? Yep. Okay. Go, 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 go. For all intents and purposes, the Tunisians are now hostile. And our good general died. Okay. This is fine. I'm going to get another general. <laughs> sake. Okay. Now it is so crucial that we do not mess this up. I think. Yep. It's already. <laughs> Damn it. They took Sert. Okay. This isn't good. Tunis, you're meant to be protecting that side of things. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Tunis, could you please just take those guys out? There you go, Tunis. There you go. 
Good lad. Uh, do with those guys as well. Go on, there are Algerian Separatists. You don't like Algerian Separatists. I've just realized I can't do what I wanted to do, which was vassalize for Zan. If I vassalize for Zan, I fight Tunis. Fighting Tunis isn't the worst idea. Brings in the Ottomans and Moroccans on my side. We're gonna do it. We're gonna fight the Tunisians. I feel bad because they've done nothing but good. be good to me. It does mean we need to move somewhat quickly. Okay, what? why are you going in like six different directions, boys? Ah. Ah. Okay. Maybe we go the other way and vassalize Tlemcen and call in... Tunis and, Morocco, uh, Tunis and the Ottomans against Morocco. I just feel like I might lock myself off from like potential Mamlukian gains if I do that. I could do them both and just get the Ottomans to fight them both for me. Oh man, there's so many decisions to make and they're all important. Right, we're going to relinquish Fazan and focus on Morocco because Tunis is still our ally. Our Ottomans don't get into any wars, bud. Okay, I just look over and he's already at war with what, Serbia and Bosnia. Okay, right boys. <laughs> this is the big one. Proud of Vassal and rivalry with me. Get rid of your cause on me. All right, let's call in the Ottomans and let's call in the Tunisians. Didn't have to be like this, Morocco. I feel like everyone can Kenobi. You are my brother, Morocco. I loved you. I reckon we could siege race this against the capital. To be fair, I didn't think I'd be having to face him like this. Damn, he's racing through that siege. Okay. No, come here, come here. Not that one, not that one, not that one. Come on. Here, Tunis. Here, boy. There you go. This is the one we fight. Now, he is on Miltic 4. I'm on Miltic 5. Tunis is on Miltic 4 still because he's a waste man. Yeah, don't come in. Don't. You don't need to, apparently. Was that stack wipe? I think it was because of the 4. Okay, good. That's good. That's exactly how I planned it. You know, this was all part of the plan. <laughs> okay, now we just wait. Just hold. We've got the manpower for it. And we're going to split off 4,000 men to try and deal with the rest of them. Or at least somewhat. Uh, is that the free companies over here? No, he's just got a lot of troops down. Just going to go around murdering little one stacks. Hey, the Ottomans turned up. All right, well, suddenly this, this got a lot easier. All right, what do I even want out of this war? I suppose Tlemcen will probably want his, uh, his core back. All right, give that core to Tlemcen, because why not? And then the rest of the stuff I want. I need all of these mountain forts. Yeah, that'll work. You know, I think the game can hear me when, uh, when I say things are going to get easier. Because it saw that I could potentially call in the Ottomans. And it gave the Iberian uh, wedding uh, a, a chance to foster. So that's nice. That's always good. Good, good to see that uh, E4 is looking out for the little guy. I mean, we're winning, but it's painful. I'm gonna get out of there. Where are the rest of the Ottoman troops? Why are they going home? <laughs> Look, Ottomans, just do me a favor. Just go and take that province, okay? I might have to go the colonial game, boys. <laughs> Dude, this siege is taking the longest time. I know I like to complain about sieges, but 705 days. Well, there's an army. Please tell me that you allied the Ottomans. There's no way we win this, Tunis. There's no way we win this one. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry, my North African brethren. <laughs> well, they'll, they'll peace out. Hey. Well, it's good to me. God, I feel so horrible. I mean, that works. And now I can trigger you in a second. I have a claim, and the claim has to, the air has to have a claim of 100. Okay. I feel so bad for Tunis, man. <laughs> They're just gonna get ravaged by the Castilians. No! The boys! No, oh God, now I've killed myself trying to save them. I'm just trying to do anything to distract myself from the fact that I'd stabbed my ally in the back. I don't wanna have given you military access. Why? 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 Why do I give you military access? No, no, no! I could try and trap some of their troops, Tunis, but that's the best I could do for you, bud. I mean, they are taking out my uh, my rebels for me, so I, I can have split loyalties here. We could have totally win this. Actually, not with those Tunisian troops like that. Ugh. You got Miltek 6 and the Tunisians have Miltek 5. Wow, you idiots. There's no way we would have won that. I am going to do you a favor, Tunis. Well, their allies have forces in our borders. Who are their allies? Tlemcen isn't their ally. They don't have anyone in my borders. Game. You've, you've, you've confused yourself again. Well, their allies have forces in our borders. He doesn't have any allies. Is it me? Is it, try is it counting me as an ally? It was counting me. Dude, the game just screwed over Tunis so badly. I've been trying to cancel this military access forever. Why does he still have military access in me? I'm tempted to get a fort here, right? And bet that I can siege down Ceuta faster than they can siege down Jabal Tariq. Giving the Ottomans a chance to come round here. <gasps> I saw that, Tunis. I saw that. Live, my friend. Live. Tunis, buddy, you've done so well here. I won't lie to you, lad. This uh, sort of conquest of Tunis has been really inspiring to watch because they've been fighting tooth and nail. And, uh, well, I can't leave my boys hanging that badly, right? You won't give me military access. All right, bro. All right. Well, I try to save you. I just got to hope the Ottomans pull through. Because I won't lie. I, I kind of did this impulsively. I, I don't know what my plan is here. 
I, I just wanted to help out Tunis. So we're going to go ahead and grab the free company from now. Oh boy, they're coming. That's a lot of troops. Never mind, his troops are going to be a lot better than us. Now, the idea here is that, theoretically speaking, he shouldn't be able to get to me. Christ on a bike. They've just stacked with the free company. Okay, so this isn't a great situation, but we saved the Tunisians. <laughs> And we've trapped the Castilians this side of the strait with us. And the Ottomans don't seem to be coming. This is it. That's how we die. All right, boys. How lucky are we feeling today? <laughs> how goddamn lucky are we feeling? <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Yeah, this, this is not good. This is bad. Let's retreat. Now, in all likelihood, boys, uh, we're screwed. We don't have any resource to speak of. And the Ottomans are, are just sort of... Oh, they're, they are kind of coming over here. We're losing 30 ducats a month. So I think my plan is to just sort of sit tight. Let's get out of here. Take out my rebels by all means. All right, Ottomans, I need you, bro. He's bringing 25, 30,000 troops over. That's good. That might be enough. Stay everything, and then we could chuck a defensiveness edict on a mountain fort. Which should help us. To be fair, 20,000 troops, we can fight that now. I would love to pull the, uh, the old uh, straight trick. But I don't think I'd be able to do that right now. Okay. Okay. So now the Castilians are trapped on this side. And we can we can go. We can leave. Are the Ottomans on the way? The Ottomans are on the way. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, do I just rush for his capital? I, I mean, that that's a play. I can do that. <laughs> Mashallah, brothers. <laughs> Seuss got called in. You little snake. For all intents and purposes, the Castilians are trapped on this side of the strait. Please tell me you're disloyal. You're not. Cool. I don't know what's going on. And at this point, I'm terrified. I don't know what to do. I'm just straight stressed. I am going to go and... Uh, my words aren't working. I'm going to go and scorch earth over here in Fez. Okay. This 7,000 seems to be freaking out the Ottomans. So we're going to go take them out. Okay, by God, does the state need the money? Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of that lot. I have no idea where the Portuguese troops are. Or any troops. Or anyone. I don't understand what's going on. I could probably get Castile out. I can get that rid of that alliance with the Austrians. I think that's what the play is. Although, if the English are actually going to land troops, then I guess we should probably deal with that. That was a lot less uh, stressful than I thought it would be. <laughs> I've taken years off my life in this game. <laughs> Okay. All right. So just to recap, you got you're allied to the Castilians, and you are you have Burgundy and Bohemia as junior partners. Sweet. That is amazing. I think that's great for you. I need gold mines. Oh my god. That's a victory. He's got to stop somewhere. Okay, we're on the siege to Toledo. We're on the siege to Toledo. Okay. Sus is like done. So let's just piece him out. We have to fight this to death, obviously. Don't stack, won't we, please? Okay, good. We just about got saved there. But we lost. And the Ottomans got stack wiped. But the Ottomans will hopefully kill... Ottomans, just kill those troops, please. I thought the Ottomans got stack wiped there. Just kill them. Just murder them. Why are we leaving them alive? We didn't get opportunities like this again. We just don't. Man went in without a general. I've got to focus on killing these troops. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're just not dying. Look at the Castilian troops. My God. Okay, they're done. Okay, they're done. All right, get out of here. Go, flee. Go somewhere else. The English have marched troops down. Why? Okay, how are the Ottomans doing? They're still on high. Castile's on low. We only have 17% against Castile. Toledo was not worth that much war score, apparently. Oh, you beauty. Yes, take out the English. England's on medium. They are negative 15 from coming out. Oh, my God. Oh, I could just... Like, my. you don't understand. My heart is just hurts. It just hurts, man. I'm never more stressed. My st this is, it's meant to be a video game. It's meant to be like, ha, ha, funny. Like, this is not fun. Where are you going? Garb or? Garb, okay. Okay, he's landing there. So we should have the advantage. One siege of war. Okay. All right, boys, please finish off the Castilian troops. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> we might be winning, boys. But I feel like I've already lost. Yes, 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 yes. Mounted province. We've caught them in the mountains. He doesn't have a leader. It doesn't matter because he has like a full morale and a half. God damn it, take one us. How is his morale that high? Oh my god. My strategy consists of launching myself into battles and hoping the Ottomans bail me out. White piece from England? Yes, please. 
I can't. He's got 22,000 men. He's still got men to burn. And then the peasants. The Portuguese peasants take me out. I've got manpower. I just don't have any money or anything else. Get every bit of war score possible, boys. Every scrap of war score. Everyone is on low. Everyone, no one wants to win this war anymore. And I still only have 30. This is worth 30%. What, what do you have on me? What do you have on me? What more could I do? I can't get, I can't come out for this little war score. I, I just can't. Not whilst the Ottomans have this much uh, siege ability. I, I apologize for any word I've ever spoken against the Ottomans or AI allies or anything else because he has just taken a hell of a lot of war score. He's even landed on the islands. Okay, initially, initially it looked dicey. It looked very dicey. I'm going to probably go bankrupt, <laughs> but it's worth it. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, that's enough of that. 65%. We're just gonna have to do what we can with that. Okay, so firstly, war operations. Secondly, get rid of that Austria alliance. And now we play. Okay, there's a gold mine down here. So the gold mine isn't necessarily the most important thing. A land border of Portugal is because I'm going to take some of their territory. Because he's not a co-belligerent, all this stuff costs so much. But again, I think it was worth it. Coalition be damned. We're taking as much land as we can. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing, and again, coalition be damned. We, we, I mean, it doesn't matter. We have to. Maybe get rid of the English alliance. Well, the English didn't really do anything. I don't care. Okay, 121,000. Oh, boys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We won! <laughs> Oh my god. That was horrible. That was genuinely horrible. Morocco and Tunis are our rivals, but ladies and gentlemen, I think that'll do it for today. If you'd like to see me continue the series, <laughs> I'd be very upset at you, but please do vote by liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. I need to lie down. I got a migraine and a half. Oh man, I feel sorry for <laughs> the, the editor as well in this run. <laughs> all right, well. Yeah, I think that'll do it. I might go back and tweak the uh, the piece the, uh, piece a little bit. Sort of all F4 this. But for now, lads, that's Granada. And that's a very weird way of doing Granada. I've never done it like that. In any case, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Why not stick around, watch another one, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.